Hello, Hope Scopers. <laughs> Today I am coming at you in collaboration with Body Boss 12 week program to show you a high intensity leg hit and booty workout that I have been loving and hating because it's really hard and you can do it right from home. You know how they say, in two weeks, you'll feel a difference. In four weeks, you'll see a difference. And in six weeks, you'll hear it, the difference. Because other people will see it and tell you that they see it. I'm on week four and I'm feeling it. getting lots of DMs from you guys asking what I do for my workouts and although I am no fitness expert I know that this workout will be super helpful to you guys that are wanting to lose fat tone your body especially if you don't have access to the gym all the time I prefer a gym setting so I usually take this little guy to the gym with me and go find a corner and do my little workout there. At first when I started this program, I was like, I've been working out for years. I'll use this as a warm up and then do my other heavy lifting afterwards. Big mistake. I could not move after week one, like not in a good way. Like I felt like I had been hit by a train and I had to postpone starting week two. So this is all you need, I promise. The best part is each of these workouts only takes 24 minutes or less. Today's entire workout will be down in the description box, so all you have to do is go open the Dropbox, screenshot that, and then do the workout in the next day or two and let me know how you're feeling. All right, let's start today's leg workout. Don't laugh at me because there are probably going to be several points during the workout that I look like a wheezing beached whale. Like I said, no equipment is required other than sometimes it suggests having a one to two pound dumbbell every once in a while, but you can use any small object really in place of a weight. Today none is required, but I felt like giving myself the added challenge of incorporating Leo into this workout for fun. He probably won't make it into circuit two and three because I'm sure I will massively be regretting that decision, but here we go. Each workout has you warm up and cool down with some stretches, which has been awesome at holding me accountable to actually do that. I am terrible at taking the time to stretch. The first move in this circuit is sumo squats, and you are going to do 30 of them. You're gonna try really hard not to take too big of breaks between movements because you wanna keep your heart rate up, but you do get a break at the very end of the circuit. Next, you're gonna do walking lunges. You're gonna do 30 total, so 15 one leg, 15 the other. <laughs> Next, you are going to do some high knees. You're going to do 70 reps total. The other nice thing about this little booklet is if you have a question about how to do a movement or what exactly it's working, there's a little guide in the back. The next move you're going to do are glute kickbacks, and you're going to do 40 of these total, 20 on each leg. Some of these moves may look easy, but trust me, when you're doing a ton of them back to back, it's not easy. The next move you're going to do are 40 bench hops. And if you happen to just not conveniently have a bench lying around your house, like I don't, then you can use a stool or some sort of chair. And by this time, you should be really struggling through these movements. The next move you're going to do are glute lunges, which is basically just a reverse lunge. You're going to do 50 of these total, and if you're still holding your dog or whatever weight you're using, you're gonna wanna ditch him at this point, trust me. The last move in this circuit is a squat to a front kick, and you're going to do 40 of those total. By this point, you're gonna wanna die, but you can't because you're not done. You're gonna take a three minute break and then you are going to repeat this circuit two more times and boom. Your body is now in what is called the afterburn of HIIT cardio, which causes your body to burn more calories throughout the day, even after the workout is over, but you still maintain your muscle. That is what's really going to help give you that awesome toned beach body look. Yes, I did film this outro before the workout because I knew I'd be dying by the end of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than your regular Hope Scopes. But if you did, give it a thumbs up. 
In case you are curious as to what the rest of my workout week looks like, today we did Monday's hit leg and booty. Tuesdays are recovery days. They recommend just light exercise, so I'll usually go to the gym and catch up on my YouTube videos and my Netflix episodes while walking on the treadmill or the Stairmaster, or I'll take Leo for a walk. Wednesdays is hit arms and core. Thursday is just a cardio day, so I'll usually, depending on the weather, either go on a hike or something, or I'll go to the gym for 30 to 45 minutes and do cardio there. Friday is full body hit. Saturdays and Sundays there is no scheduled workout, but I usually like to go to the gym on Saturdays anyway and just do my own thing. I'll just work out whatever's not sore if anything is not sore. The other nice thing about this program is if you are a total beginner, meaning you haven't worked out in the last year, you just had a baby, that is totally fine because they actually have a three week pre-training program before you start the actual 12 week program to kind of like warm you up, get you conditioned so that you can handle it. It's super fun, super affordable. So if you're interested, I will of course have the link down below. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Ollie. Say bye YouTube. In case you're wondering, this is what I look like while I'm doing the voiceover for the workout. Come on, you can do it. Hello, Hope School Jeez. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be able to stand by yourself. Come